Stop Miranda's onslaught. You're going to destroy the whole planet, Father! You've got to stop it! <laughs> Drox, let's go! Final Flash! <laughs> oh shit! Hey guys, it's Joe the Many Games, and welcome back to the final episode of the Shadows of Rose DLC from the Resident Evil Village DLC, you know? So yeah, uh, last episode is actually the scariest so far. We go to Benaviento's house and we encounter mannequins, the dolls and everything. And with me doing the quote-unquote night vision vibe. Bruh, best episode man. And we fought Evelyn also. What is this? Oh, one of these. What's, What's all this doing out here? here? Alright. Huh. Handgun ammo. Oh, finally. Yes. We have our guns back. Man, it's been a while, man. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh. How am I? Oh. 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 Ho ho. This is giving me death stranding vibe, man. What is that? I can sense something from over there. God damn. Head for the giant core. Oh, who's that? Hello? Why oh, that looks like Leon in his jacket? Oh, that's just Rose, bruh. What? Oh, bunch of white fish. Is there anything else I can pick up? I don't think so, right? Man, this is the best imagery ever, man. You know, I, I actually like this kind of stuff where you can see a big thing in the distance with clouds covering, you know? It's basically like, if you guys watch Stranger Things Season 2, where Will was having this hallucination of the Mind Flayer, right? That kind of imagery, man. Kind of like cosmic horror kind of stuff. That's a, that cosmic horror feel to it, you know? Basically, he's leading me, right? Oh, wait, never mind. Oh my god. Run. Back up, back up. I think that thing is leading me to the place where I'm supposed to go to destroy the giant core. Basically, that's the Mega Mighty Consciousness, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I was trying to. I was trying to switch to my shotgun. This thing is actually quite fast, you know. And with Rose being so slow, doesn't help, man. Her controls feels more tanky than um, Leon from RE2. RE2 remake basically feels a bit more tanky. It's a bit harder to control her when it comes to movement, at least. This gave me so much stuff now. Man. I hate their sound. It's freaking scary. Man. That sounds like Miranda. Oh! Can I like, I don't think I can stealth you right? Never mind. Why do I think I can stealth? Oh my god, he's making another one. Oh my god, they're all coming out. Please no more, man. Oh man, they give me so much ammo. For a freaking reason. Don't tell me all this is gonna wake up. More cost. Run. Run! Oh shit! Oh my god! I'll try to save my ammo. I'll use one of these on the... And then... Go, go, go! Freaking go! Why is it taking so long? Yup! At least I got it. I'm not gonna deal with you guys. Oh, I'm going down there. I need to find that crystal. We are the home stretch, boys. Search the cave. Oh, it's like this now. 
Well, that's the Mega Mind Seed. Oh, I should have stopped now before the cutscene starts. Okay, see the thing. Is this where that's the Rose. Piece of me came from? Disgusting, man. Look at that thing. Oh, safe. I think this is the final boss battle. Man. Someone's been here. Are you gonna fight the Duke now? I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters, with the hope that the perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It was seen that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is, essentially, a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive. Some other actor within this realm. A flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm, were she to offer herself as a vessel it would be so simple. Additional observations. Further experiments with these Rose copies as I've taken the coin this husk have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. It's more and more research, and I think that my first creation, the Mask Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. They couldn't have been watching me. Oh, d definitely they are. Oh, oh, I almost missed this. The Mega Mind Seed absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. The memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are attuned to the Mega Mind Seed in life retain control of the faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the Mega Mind Seed as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Mega Mind Seed. And yet, I do not despair. For this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived have continued to strive. They are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, the understanding and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Mega Mice, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Just imagine Wesker coming back and having this power. Bro, it'd be freaking crazy, man. I mean, if Wesker, yes, just, just say Wesker used this and he was trapped here, the consciousness was trapped in the Mega Mice, you can just make someone come in and possess their body, right? And just become Wesker in a different body. Man, that would be freaking crazy, man. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rebel has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know the perfect vessel, the only real candidate all my years of searching, Rosemary Winters. It will seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than a failure, Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamized powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Oh my god, they're giving me so much stuff, man. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Oh wait, that's first aid here? I didn't see this now. Who's the final boss? Is it Miranda again? Or is it the Duke? I think it's the Duke, right? Wait, I wanna see something. Okay, that's the Ripper on water. I don't wanna see if that's the effect, man. It must be the crystal. I'm almost there. Michael. Oh. No, that pool I've been feeling is closed, but I just can't go any further. I thought I made it when I saw the blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger. So close, I was so close. Is that Ethan? Is that someone? No, I thought that's someone. That thing is just a freaking pillar. Alright. Oh, look at this place. 
Man, the place looks really nice. No? Black God, which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance. Graciously offered and joyously accepted, you will drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth. Not to destroy, but to preserve, and once again deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. That's the baby there. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. Alright. Oh, I thought you were gonna go into that room. Beyond the crystal. But it seems like a dead end. Just imagine when she got cured of her powers and then the boss come and attack and then she has no powers to fight. You know? It's working. Oh my god. Oh no. She turns normal, she don't have her magic anymore. The boss gonna come and attack. Yup! Oh, it's Miranda! Okay? God dang it. Why is it you again? Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? It's your dad's My killer, man. Miranda. What? You would become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? Oh, no one was there! Was an illusion. For a moment, I thought Miranda transformed into him. But I thought like Miranda's dead, so she can't transform into him. You can become the vessel for my Eva. God dang, not again. Ah shit. Here we go again. Oh! You still need to see his face. Just imagine. Just imagine we're controlling Ethan now. Oh, Ethan's holding a gun. God dang it! Ah! <laughs> Did he have my shotgun? Oh, he had his own. Stop! Oh my god! Yeah, Ethan! Go, boy! Wait, what's behind me? I can't see behind me. I want to see if Miranda is chasing me like... You know? <laughs> they could have shown his face now, man. I understand if the third person didn't show his face because they didn't record a face animation, right? But they can just record for this game, the DLC. But they didn't do it. Tell me who you really were. Why'd you let me call you Michael? I didn't want to complicate things. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone, but I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! Oh! <laughs> Ethan to the rescue! Ooh! Ooh, bright. I'm gonna attack team on Miranda. Ethan, persistence is always Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. 
no one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you, but I need to know that you're safe. So please, just eat me, you insolent bastard! I got this. How, how can we just destroy Miranda forever? The, must we destroy the consciousness? Oh my god, Ethan. Must we destroy the Mega Mike Seed piece and all? So the consciousness all can be destroyed as well. Relinquish the power. I relinquish the crystal. Yup. She's gonna have her powers. NANI?! She get her powers back. Yup. I've got this. All right. I can't use it like this. Dodge left and right. Oh my God, Jesus! Holy shit! Wait, I can't dodge, bro. I I I cannot dodge that time. Dodge. Yeah. Boy, that's awesome. Come on, dodge! Reload! Absorb and coming projectiles. Oh, I didn't absorb in time. I'm saving my shotgun for later, man. If I can't absorb, I'll just teleport away, man. Here I come. Oh, I press the wrong button for absorb, no wonder. I press RB. Ah, okay. This is... <laughs> yup. Oh, rarely rolls power into a massive mega mice attack. Let's... Holy shit! Jesus! Oh, I, I'm fully aware, man. Why suffer needs? Absorb the power? There's nothing. Oh my god, shit, I pressed too early. I still need to time it correctly, man. Dodge! Are you sure about that? Oh my god, he's doing this shit again. Oh shit! God dang it. Oh shit! God dang it. Ah oh, shit! I can't see her. Boom! Oh, I'm out. Oh, craft, craft. Oh, I have pipe bomb. Oh, I can't do pipe bomb. How about this? <laughs> yeah, do it. White sage. All right. One more white sage. Okay, now. Come on, come on, reload. One more. This is a freaking gun. Do you not know what gun is? Oh shit! God dang it, I... Shit! I did wrong. I pressed the wrong button. Come on. Ah shit. Alright. Do it! One more! I can't do it anymore. Shit! Keep shooting, shooting. All right, I'm out. I need to wait for your attack. Then. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm trapped! I'm trapped! Absorb! 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 Use! Hua! Dodge! Absorb! Absorb! And absorb! Yes, I've already mastered absorbing, man. 
I thought I need to hold for a moment. Do it! Shit! Wrong! Wrong button! Oh my god. Use this! Keep shooting, just keep shooting, 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 shooting. Wait. What happened? Oh my god! Shit, shit! Can I use attack? Special? No. Oh, it's supposed to happen. Alright. What is that? Extra power? Oh, I will. Oh, yes. Stop Miranda's onslaught. You're going to destroy the whole planet, Father! You've got to stop it! <laughs> Let's go! Final Flash! Oh shit! Oh, that eclipse so freaking awesome, man. One more? Can I? Use Rose Power to defeat Miranda. Shut up, man. You're done, so. The same light. My evil. And the same post where she died. I think Ethan's gonna be re gone for real this time. Oh, you see his face. Sorry, I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No, not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No, it was my choice, and I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. Is she gonna be gone? Turn to dust? You see the line decreases on Ethan's hand? Dang, the details, man. Yup. You're back here. I'm back. I'm back. We have Ethan's ring. Dad. Are we gonna see Mia? Oh, that's a freaking awesome wallpaper. Man. Are we gonna see Chris? Oh, is that how she got the... Oh, so basically this is... Ah... Do you think the little boy will be able to touch ah. the moon? Ah... Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. So it was between... Uh, okay, then 
Then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. So are you gonna see who's at the end of the the one waiting for their for you Rose's car? Silly. Standing at the end of the road there. So this was in be between Rose DLC was between the end of RE8 and the main game, you know. Please tell me you're gonna see who's the one behind. I mean who's the one at the end of the road, you know? Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Speak of the goddamn devil. Talk of the goddamn Oh, talk. Devil. Never mind. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed. Evelyn. Don't do not ever don't call you me that. Ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. You have a clear shot. Stand down. I got this. I can handle it. I can handle it. Man, it's about time we see Leon in R E N G, like in the future, present day, instead of the remix. Please show me something, man. I know. Please, please, just show me. Don't end it the same way, man. I'm gonna punch you if you end the same way. You see, running towards the car. Oh, what the! F I thought they're gonna do something else now because it stays at the shot for quite a while. I see that person actually moving, you know, and. Oh my god, let me let me see if there's any credits on I mean post credits or not. Assume unlock green team, serene team. Bro, what the fuck man? You know I was so excited for the Shadows of Rose DLC because I thought it's gonna take place after and then we can see some stuff, you know. But they freaking add it the same way. Fuck shit. Sorry I cursed, but I'm so annoyed, man. I was about to give this game a good rating. Like a 4 over 5 or 4.5. But since they mess with us with that whole ending, I'm gonna give it a freaking 3. That's right, 3. This is actually still a pretty good game, you know. Especially the whole Benevento part is actually scary. Aside from the the whole ending scene, the interaction with Ethan, everything is actually quite nice. And able to use the powers and everything, that's really awesome, man. And yeah, I think he thought that Duke is gonna be the boss. So yeah, what do you guys think about the Shadows of Rose DLC? Please do leave a comment down below. And what do you think, most importantly, of the freaking ending? With that, I'm just gonna leave this off right here. And yeah, if you guys do like the video, do like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with others. And with that, goodbye. And for nice days, guys. Bye!